Hey there, Lick and Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome finger style arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which we're gonna learn Crazy by Willie Nelson. It's a beautiful, beautiful song. I'm gonna play with the arrangement first so you can see and hear how it goes. Then we're gonna break it down with tabs right here on the screen as usual. It goes like this. Enjoy. <laughs> So the song actually starts with C, okay? But you can play the, uh, the ending line as an intro, as in the original song. You can play... Okay? So we're gonna learn that later as the ending line to the song, and then you can use it as an intro. So let's start with the verse, okay? So you start with C, a normal run-of-the-mill C chord, and you play the fifth string, the bass, with the first string, and then you play the third string. Okay, both of them in the chord, both of them open. Okay, that's crazy. Okay, that's the first line. Okay, and you can just fill in the arpeggios any way you wish. Okay, just keep it simple. It's a simple song, it's a beautiful song, a beautiful love song. Don't overcomplicate it, just play the chord. And then, when the time comes to change the chord, you play the A string, open, and you move here, okay? Now, this is A7, and it's just a bar on 5 on the 1st to the 4th strings, all strings, 1, 2, 3, and 4, okay? With the 5th open, because it's A. So, you put your 2nd finger on the 3rd string on 6, and you get this A7. Now you ask me, what's the difference between this and this, okay, the full A7 chord? There's absolutely no difference, okay? Except for the fact that you can move smoothly from C to A7 this way, okay? You play the A bass, okay, sorry, okay? You have time to move, okay? You can also make a small transition there by playing Okay, three, two, one, zero on the fifth string. Okay, and then, okay, and you have time, while the A string is ringing, you have time to move. Okay, that's why I do it like this, five, five, six, five, okay, with a bar on five. Um, because if you would play the bar, okay, there's this, um, unseemly uh, silence in between, okay? No matter how short, it sounds like a mistake, okay? Because you move, okay, and then 
you have this silence while you put the chord on. If you play A and you move here, okay, to the half chord shape, then you have the A string ringing. That's the logic. So, okay, you put the chord, you play it. Okay, strings four to one, five, six, five, five, and then, okay, it's eight, five on the second string, and then, okay, it's D minor. Now it's D minor, again, a half chord. You play five, six, seven on strings one, two, and three, okay? It's a part of the bar, and the logic is the same, okay? You have uh, a note out of the chord. You play the six on the second string, okay? You play eight, five on the second string, okay? You have A7, okay, then A5, okay, while the chord is still there, and then you put the D minor on. Now you play the D string with 6 on the 2nd string, you can play it with the 7 on the 3rd, okay, you can even vibrate a little bit. So, um, and then you can add the 5 on the 1st string, okay. Then you have G. Just the second string twice with the chord. Okay, crazy. Okay, that's that's the whole line. If you want to mirror the first line, you can play strings two four. Okay, it's not the line, but you can do it. Okay, and then you have the G bass hammer on to three on the D string. Open third. One zero on the second, so it's. And then you have two on the third string. Uh, zero, one zero on the second string. I think I said the third string by mistake. It's one zero on the second string. So, okay, one zero on the second string, two on the third, and then the open third string with C. You can play strings uh, three, four, and five, or just three and five. Okay, you can also do, okay, you can play the C bass with a hammer on to two on the third, and then the open string. So. Okay, then you have okay, C sharp diminished. It's um, it's um, it's still two on the uh, on the D string. Still two. It's okay. So the bass moves one fret further. So it's four on the fifth string, and then zero and two on the th uh, third and fourth. Okay, it's C with a C sharp bass. So okay. That's the logic. And then you have D minor 7, okay? So it's uh, 5, 3, 5 on strings 5, 4, 3, okay? Okay, 5, 3, 5. Okay, so it's... Okay? No matter how you play it, you can play... Okay? Arpeggios, block chords, okay? Okay? No matter how you want to play it, your style, just do what you feel like at the moment. Those are the chords. Then you have G7. Okay, now you can do G7 or you can add the flat 13 to it. Uh, so G7 would be 3, 3, 4 on strings 6, 4, and 3. Okay, 3, 3, 4. And if you add the little finger on the second string on 4, you get the flat 13. Okay, so that's up to you. And then you play the C, A7, and D minor line again. Okay, C. You can do the bass move. Okay, you can slide. Okay, into the five. Okay. Okay, up to D minor. Then you have G but with your little finger on five on the E string. So put the G bar on, okay? E shape bar on three, okay? With little finger on five. So you play the chord, it's strings one and three, just like the original C chord at the beginning. Okay, so, okay, G. And then you have a normal G chord. So it's the G bass, three on the, uh, bass string and then strings four three two and then okay one zero on the first string three on the B string and then C with one on the B string and then F 
then C, then C7. Again, any way you want to play it. So, um, C, F, C, C7. You add three on the third string. And then you have the chorus. You have F, barred shape. You play strings two and one. Okay, crazy. Then you have strings five, four, three, two, okay? Just the chord, strings five to two. And then open second, two on the third, and then two zero with the C bass. Okay, again, you can do a hammer on if you want. And then you have D7 over F sharp. So you play D7 with your thumb on two on the bass and you play strings again, two and three. Okay, it's the same as F, but this time with an F sharp bass. And the open D string if you want. And then you have It's the F sharp bass, hammer on to four on the D string, two on the third, and then one zero on the second, you can pull it off, two on the third, and the open third with the G chord. So you can play strings three, four, and six. And then you can do G flat 13 again. And then you have this line again, C, Okay, A7 and D minor, then the ending line. It's F up on 8, so it's an A shape. Okay, you play the 5th string with strings 1, 2, 3. You do the same uh, strings 1 and 2 with E minor. Okay, so um, it's F, and then E minor, and then you take this chord, 2 frets down to D minor, strings 1, 2, and 3, and then this. It's again this C sharp diminished. It's C, okay, with four on the fifth string. So it's three five on strings one and two, but with four on the fifth. All right, got it? So it's F on eight, E minor on seven, D minor on five, and then. C sharp diminished, which you can call C over C sharp. Um, and then you have G6, which is just the finger on the bass on three with the open strength, with the first strength twice. Okay, um, but I skipped a chord. It's D minor, D minor seven first. Okay, it's one, one, two with the open D string. Okay, again, strings one, two, and three, okay. If you're not used to this chord, think about F with the open D string. And then the G6. And C. And you're done with this lesson. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Download the tab for free on the website. The link is below in the description. And um, I thank you very much for watching. So thank you. And I will see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy.